don't believe in shooting stars, but she believe in shoes and cars. What hey, y'all, it's Laia. Can you see up my skirt? No. Okay, you can leave that there. And I got your buds, and I'll just undo my legs because that's uncomfortable. Hey, y'all, it's Laia, and I got your buds today. And, uh, oh, let me not forget, first of all, we lost a couple people over the weekend. It's too bad I forget his name, but his product was very important. I'm talking about the man who created Pringles. Because he was a doctor. Dr. Bauer. I remember. Second person, Yves Saint Laurent. I know you hear a shout out on some of your favorite rap songs and it's probably not pronounced right, but very famous designer and very gifted man. So he died at the age of what, Jay? Like 71? Yeah, 71. I knew, see? But I got people in here just in case. You know, y'all gotta have people who know. Okay, so now, let's get to the kittens. Sex in the City over the weekend. Alright, now listen. A lot of people are critiquing the Sex in the City numbers. Now, as you know, 55 million first week. That's all right. I think we did pretty good. 85% uh, women actually went to this screening. And if you're wondering, because uh, one of my male interns just said, well, that wasn't pretty good, was it? Because Indiana Jones did $100 million. Well, who was going to stay home and watch the kids? Everybody couldn't go out and watch the movie. I understand women. I'm with you in the struggle. <laughs> Meanwhile, while everybody else was at Summer Jam and going to see Sex in the City, there were some people who were at the uh, MTV Movie Awards. Yes, there were. Would you like to know who was there? Where Will was there with his son. See, that's Will and Jada. He actually won an award for, um, I don't know, I Am Legend, something. I knew it was I Am Legend, but I couldn't remember if it was lead actor in a movie. Then there was Jennifer Hudson. Now, she didn't win anything, but that's her outfit. That's what she wore. Okay, not as nice as Sex in the City, but what are you going to do? And then, of course, Chris Brown, who was there with his boo-boo. Rihanna, with her interesting little dress here with the, see, you can't wear that if you got a gut. See, right there. That's them. He had a mohawk, too. Actually, the mohawk was the um, haircut of the evening. Now, let's move on to some Philly buzz. Now, have you guys heard about the two Philly news anchors that are in the deep with the FBI? Ain't this crazy? So, check this out. So, I have uh, Alicia Lane. Remember Alicia Lane on KYW? Real pretty, suspiciously pretty girl who was dating a dude from the other radio station in the mornings. And of course, we remember her because months ago she went to New York with her boyfriend and some friends and decided that she wanted to uh, cuss out a Philadelphia, I mean, not a Philadelphia, a New York police officer, call her a lesbian, amongst some other words, and then actually touch that officer. So she got fired, right? Now, her getting fired, this is where Larry Minty comes in. Because if I know if I would have said his name, y'all would be like, who? Larry Minty. So what had happened was they say that Larry Minty had access into Alicia Lane's email, her Yahoo email, without her, her permission. And so now they're trying to figure out if some of the stuff has been leaked. It's through Larry Minty. So now Larry Minty is suspended from KYW. See, you be thinking of news people, boy, you got to watch them. Meanwhile, in other white people news, do you remember this face? This is Tatum O'Neill. Now you say, Laia, why do I care about Tatum O'Neill? I'm going to tell you why. Tatum O'Neill is the youngest... I'm thinking, Jake, correct me if I'm wrong, to date, youngest person ever to receive an Oscar, right? Now, she's the daughter of Ryan O'Neill, who used to mess with Barbara Streisand, long story. But she also was on Dancing with the Stars like two seasons ago. Well, I'll go out on a limb and say Tatum is the first Dancing with the Stars alum that was found buying crack after the show. Yes, uh, recently she was found over the weekend buying crack from a homeless man. No jokes. That is sad. Meanwhile, um, I guess Diddy has no idea that there's a recession. I say, oh, you only see everything. I say that to say that Diddy just bought him a $33 million yacht. You, mm, I, mm. Meanwhile, then, hold up, let me just hold my anger. They talking about that Diddy is now seeing Cameron Diaz. Now, I don't, you know, not here nor there. But damn, Kim Porter, don't you got no shame? That's the only picture I had of him. No shame, Diddy, no shame. We'll wrap up the buzz on that note. Oh, Shane, just going to keep on embarrassing my sister. We'll wrap up the buzz on that note. Don't forget to log on to 1003thebeatphilly.com. I'd just like to thank everybody for making this happen. See you tomorrow.